This airplane is floating on the sea surface, with passengers crowded on both wings and emergency slides full of people at the left and right doors. Have you noticed a problem? The plane weighs tens of tons and is not sealed, so why isn't it sinking when it's soaking in the water? Can airplanes not only fly but also act as boats? Today, we'll talk about why planes can float on water and how long they can float. We know that the surface of the plane has various holes, some for pressurization and others for servicing various instruments, so the plane itself is not sealed or waterproof and cannot be used as a boat. However, as long as the plane is not damaged during an emergency landing, most passenger planes are designed to float on the water for a period of time for emergency evacuation. This time is specified to be 90 seconds. So, what measures allow passenger planes to float on the water? The reason lies in the air trapped in the cargo hold, cabin, and between various panels of the plane. Modern passenger planes use many lightweight composite materials and honeycomb structures to reduce weight while maintaining rigidity. Even the seat cushions can be used as life-saving floating devices. These measures can slow down the sinking speed of the plane to buy valuable time for passengers to escape. Additionally, Airbus has equipped planes with a forced water landing function, which is controlled by a button on the overhead panel of the pilot's control panel. Once activated, the plane will close the outflow valves used for pressurization to seal the aircraft as much as possible, thereby increasing the floating time. It's important to note that these measures can only delay sinking. If the emergency landing causes severe damage to the aircraft, these measures are as good as none. Therefore, to make the plane float on water as long as possible, besides optimizing the aircraft design, it is crucial how the pilot maneuvers the plane to land on the water. A hard landing is not an option. We know that water is an incompressible fluid, and hitting the water at high speed is no different from hitting concrete. Therefore, the landing must be as gentle as possible. The pilot needs to find a relatively smooth area of the sea with minimal waves and land facing the wind. This sounds easy, but it's challenging to execute because if the plane is making an emergency landing, something must have gone wrong, and the pilot may not be able to control the plane effectively. Additionally, in the unpredictable and rough ocean, waves can be very violent. Even in calm conditions, the impact during touchdown can damage the aircraft structure. So, the fact that a plane can emergency land on the sea and float for a while is a miracle. In most cases, the impact leads to the plane breaking apart and causing fatalities, with no follow-up on how long it can float. The successful emergency landing case at the beginning of the video happened under the conditions of calm seas, a professional captain, and timely rescue efforts, a combination of favorable conditions.